All right, all right. I know you guys want to know. I want to know too. I've been staring at this thing all morning. What the heck is that, man? All right, guys. So we're going to do something fun today. Now, I know that this is primarily a plant and gardening channel, but I've got the opportunity right now to go crash my brother's wood shop and give you guys a private tour. Here's the thing. He doesn't know we're coming. This guy makes some fantastic woodworking projects, and you're going to see some of them right now. So sit back and enjoy something a little different for you woodworkers out there. Go check out his channel. I'll put a link in the description below, and I think you guys will like what he's doing. All right, we're at his house. We're behind his house. This is the back side of his shop, and we are about to barge in on this guy, and he has no idea. What a noisy, noisy son of a gun. Jeez, man. What you, noise, man. what you doing there, Scott? Doing a little work on the, uh, on the old lacquer game. Ladies, how are you? The lacquer game? Yeah, we're finishing up some artwork for us. Cool, man. What you got here? Okay, well, we got some, uh, some, uh, I don't know, supports. Let me go show you how it all puts together so you know what it looks like. You're a little caught off guard, aren't little, you? Yeah, you're coming out a bit. So there'll be a coin holder here. So I'll put the coin holder here. and Look at that, man. Hey, ain't gonna happen. See, I told you guys, this guy is fantastic. Ooh, put a little, uh, and of course, there we go. Holy bones. I could really lucky. We gotta make sure we put the. Uh, the I couldn't dream there. of making something this fantastic. So, you want to walk through and take a look at all the different tools that you use to make this stuff? There you go. Boom. There that you is go. cool. So what so do you do? Is that it's kind of dusty? Or? Oh yeah. So we hit it with a 400 grit sandpaper. It takes off the first uh, first layer of like nibs and whatnot. Sometimes when you lacquer, it'll get dust on there and stuff. So cool. that first uh, first coat you put on there, you just want to make sure you sand it down. And that evens out all the tops of the pores of the wood. You'll notice that that sign right there is for men only. Yes. That's what this shop's all about. <laughs> Dang, you got Ladies so are welcome too. What the? You got so many tools and I things, know, I don't even know what you do with all this stuff. I don't either. <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty cool, man. That looks yeah. good. So, yeah, so, that's show, show me, so show me the tools you use to make this thing and what they're all about. Nice. Okay, well, the uh, first thing we want to do is we take and... Uh, we want to make sure we can get all these little exact same measurements so the way we figure out exactly how we want the layout of the board to go so it's consistent with every product is I'll go in here in the computer here. And, That's his uh, little office that he built, it's pretty cool. Here, uh, go There's the, the we'll programs pan, and design all that with the right size. Pan the whole shot. Wait, 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 we got to go in the office. Oh, and we okay, gotta, shoot. We got to okay. show them, man. These people want to see. People want to know, Scott. Okay, okie dokie. Will you hit me up right in the middle of doing some uh, Instagramming? All right. So, uh, so I'll come on my my program, my Corel Draw program, and kind of uh -oh. watch, watch stuff I'm breaking there. things. And I'll design whatever I want as far as the uh, as far as the piece goes, and and we'll figure out the exact sizes and, and widths of everything we want, so the customer can go and approve that look prior to be ever even starting the project. So, so you design everything right on the computer there. Yeah. Yeah. So they get a good idea of colors and different types of wood types and stuff that we can go and uh, they know exactly what they're getting. Well, it's pretty close to exactly what they're getting before they ever uh, before they ever see it, so. Cool, man. You got all kinds of stuff piled That's in here. So piled. Oh, well, look at that. So you, I, I still am amazed that you build this stuff out of wood. I mean, this yeah. looks like something you'd buy at a store. I guess so, this is the store. This is the store. This I is can't. like, well, the store has to buy it from somebody. That's right. So this is a, yeah, just an ash paddle that we've done a carbon gray uh, stain on with the laser engraving of a uh, soft missions. It's a uh, non-profit organization and They order other paddles and plaques and stuff like that from me. So but you guys don't know this but uh, Scott is just recently retired United States That's Navy right, baby. lieutenant, right? <laughs> Something like Lu that. Yeah. Lieutenant Kincaid. <laughs> Look at that. You wouldn't know it. Yeah. You wouldn't notice the uh, nice. yeah, lieutenant part with the beard there, but uh, He's been doing this woodworking stuff for like how, like 14 years, you 16, said? Yeah. 16 years. And anyway, this is stuff that he has done that is ready to go, I believe. Yeah, all the products. So if someone orders a paddle from me, they're all the same. And I can just go pull it right off of here, throw it in my laser engraver, and. But because and he. Going. Sorry, I'm. No, it's see, okay. You're excited. Out. I know. We got a lot of things going on. <laughs> we still haven't talked about how we made the suit. Sure That's right. <laughs> so. Because you were a retired Navy, you had lots of business from people in the Navy, so you make a lot of Navy and military kind of yep. things for people. You've got, so these are paddles. I I don't know the significance, but I only did four got, years in the Navy. They don't teach you that till uh, year five. Year five, four and a half, actually. So yeah. a lot of times people, like, when you leave a command, they'll want a command crest and 
and they'll want to put their who they are, where they're going, what you know, what job they had, and then in the in the Navy we have warfare devices, so it signifies exactly what kind of or like here's a submarine warfare device. If you want to look over here, and then you and that that signifies kind of what your specialty is when it comes to warfare planning and warfare operations and how to run those kinds of ships, and and then you do all of that. Yep, you put all that cord on there. And yeah, wrap it it's a pretty simple cord wrap there for. Uh, with a Turk's head, a couple spirals with a Turk's head. Handmade, guys. American <laughs> made right here. American made. That's it'll why be a I'm not looking forward to this one. There's going to be 10, and these are super fancy. I think a long time to get these paddles. It takes about three hours of paddle, Jeez. I'd say, to do one of these wraps. So. You need to hire somebody. I know. <laughs> so, how do you. So, is this. So, you got this laser and great. What do you have, like. $100,000 worth of equipment here about in your shop? About $100,000, $120,000 worth of equipment. And then about man. forty or $50,000 in artwork that I've had to buy over the years or make. And Jeez, yeah. man. So that's, but this right here, this laser engraver, that's what you do all this, all this stuff. fine yep. detail. So all the, all and the lasering and stuff. And dig, that's pretty cool, man. Or even, even like that flag up there. So what that, that is, cool, just a man. piece of piece of charred uh, pine and then we cover it with a bunch of tape and then we laser all those individual lines in there and I can go back and pull the tape off and just the laser kind of offers a little bit of a dam so that when you go in there and you add stain you can get perfect lines and things like that you know all right so, so we gotta get this on track now so yeah. <laughs> you, so so we got this project here so you show me you design it on your computer yep this little surfboard guy yep. looks like it's gonna go to Tom Peaches Doran oh, oh yeah Mr. Peaches, Mr. we call Peaches. him. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Right. P. Hey, Mr. P. So, sure. <laughs> so, take that. We know what size we want. Sorry, the shop's a little bit of a mess, but it is an active wood shop. What are you going to do? So, I go I go over here to my, my wood pile here, and I figure out what kind of woods they want. That surfboard is a maple and a uh, and a sapelli mahogany. So, I'll pull the sapelli mahogany down, maple down, and, uh, and we essentially just go to our table saw and cut the different strips out. Use our different jigs and handles and whatnot to get our exact same size of measurements we want. And then once that's done, uh, we just have a bunch of strips of wood. All you see is a bunch of strips of wood. So what, this is a nice table yeah. saw, man. Yeah. I, I don't know nothing about this oh, okay. stuff. So All I know about is plants. This bad boy <laughs> is a Powermatic PM2000. It's a five horsepower cabinet saw, true cabinet saw. It's got a beautiful green light right here. It's that would light. match some of the plants that I grow. So running the big obvious colors of red buttons and yellow too that's really nice <laughs> the the gold actually it's funny said because the powermatic gold is really a kind of everybody knows this color gold if you're a wood oh really yeah okay. the powermatic does that gold so anybody woodworking that is seriously into it would know what this is they're probably yelling at me right now come on boy <laughs> that's cool that's uh, awesome that's a big table saw yeah man. so 52 inch uh fence it says 54 but really the fence will only go to 52. How many horsepower? Five horsepower. Five It'll horsepower. It'll cut through two inch thick maple like butter. It's awesome. All right, so then so, we get everything cut out on the table. A bunch of strips so. of wood, and uh, we want to glue them all together. Wait, I, wait, wait, wait. Let's go back to the, so these are the so, strips of wood you're talking about so here. They're just individual. They're all 26 inches long, and they're all just right. strips of wood that we just make, make a sandwich out of. So, oh, sweet, man. See, so, you're talking to a guy that don't understand. So you cut. Every individual one of these pieces out different widths, and then yep. you smash them together and yep. glue them all together. That is pretty slick. I mean, you mean trees don't grow like this with the blonde and the well, dark and the blonde that's and the dark? Well, interesting you say. I, there is a factory uh, owned by a man named Willy Wonka where they do grow like that, <laughs> but uh, it's in a it's a very weird part of England, and yeah. no one ever goes there. And you have to have a <laughs> ticket to get in anyway. So, <laughs> who else in America? <laughs> yeah. I, I figured maybe this. This was a drought year. Yeah, this was yeah, a year of did. much <laughs> rainwater. Yeah, okay. It's called sapwood. It's very obvious when the. Uh, That's the, cool, man. So, um, so you glue it all together. So glue it all together. Use my my clamps up there. Yeah, maybe and we got we'll five hundred. I think I got two of them laying around somewhere <laughs> in the dirt out back. That's cool. actually some of them. There's more all over the place. So. And then you once you get them all glued together, then you go and you so cut you, this out the way you need it to so be. So now in. we take that. So once that's done, then we go over to the planer here. And we waited a whole 24 hours for it to all dry and harden. All right. And we go over to the planer over here. Dewalt. And uh, my PM temp seven th or the the Dewalt 735 planer. It's a pretty ubiquitous. It's a big word. You can write that down, Mike. You want uh, <laughs> I might have to. Planer for uh, <laughs> like construction worker, contract workers. Very a lot of people have this one. It's very popular. It's a beast. I've had this thing for 
15 years and it's still running hard so all right cool and, uh, that, that's a good that's probably top of the line oh. you don't have any tools aren't top of the line yeah well if you're gonna yeah if you're gonna buy a if you're ever looking for a planer that's you know that one to last you forever that's the one to go okay cool um, i'd like a bigger one i want a big big powermatic one but they cost about 3500 bucks and this one's about 700 so there you go there you go so. but uh but yeah so this guy we plan it down to the, the height we want or the thickness we want rather and then it's all it all clears off all the edges too so all that glue is gone now and all the difference in size are gone so now you have a really flat flush piece all right now we're going to head back over here all right all right i know you guys want to know i want to know too i've been staring at this thing all morning what the heck is that man so actually this doesn't really show you as well but if you come over here i'll show you <laughs> i'm always coming Let over somewhere you. else i want to see what that thing is so the same thing i made two of them right it's just a lazy susan so when I laser or when I lacquer, how lazy is she? So she she's a hard working lazy lady. I don't know how that works. All right, lacquer. So when I when I want to lacquer and I want to spin it, work smarter, not harder, right? Wow, you so, are a, you're a genius. I can move it around. There you go. And then you get your fan lacquered at the same time. My fan lacquered at the same time. And the greenhouse the that has nothing in it except for wood. scrap wood. So, I mean, I, I don't know why I haven't disowned this guy yet. A greenhouse with scrap wood in it? Jeez. It came with the house. Hey, you have a shop with no woodworking tools, so. That's, uh, <laughs> and now what do we do with it? So then we want this shape. So we take that shape that we've designed in the computer. All right. And we put it to this machine over here. The CNC. Wait, so you've, pla you've, you've glued it together, you've planed it, it's smooth. Now you take yep. it over to the CNC. So um, this machine will take the, I, that flat piece of 26 inch long by 7 inch wide. And I just, you know, just sit here and, uh, what you would call it, uh, screw it to the tabletop here, press go. I'll bet you do. And yeah, yeah, I do twice, twice on Sunday. <laughs> and then it just sits here and cuts the whatever shape I want out of it. So Sweet, man. I'm doing it in 2D to 3D to... So I would, in the beginning, I for some reason, I always thought that was what cut out the insignia, all the details, but that so doesn't... It does. no, 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 oh, it does. does. So I'll show you. Actually, you want to see real quick? All right, what you got there? So this is what the 3D... If you want to do a 3D carving, it'll do this kind of a carving for 3D. Oh, okay. So you can do whatever depths, or you can wow. have all, all kinds of cool Let stuff get that. there. Let me get a no side problem. shot. Wow, so it's got all kinds of depth, and this, wow, that's it, pretty It doesn't cool. come off the machine quite like this. But it comes off not too far from, and then I, you know, left to sand it and lacquer. This one was okay. pretty beat up, but I got it pretty good. And that's with that machine. That's, that's Swift. That machine. Is that what it's yep, called? The, Swift four by four. Swift four by four. Laguna Swift. And the cool thing about this machine is a lot of home machines, people buy them and they're great for their in their garage kind of stuff. But the cool thing about this is I can put 15 of those on there at once and just press go and walk away and come back two days later and I got 15. Jeez, man. Of those things going, and it's a water cooled spindle, four horsepower, so it just runs for. So that, for days. so that does bulkier kind of 3D stuff, and the other one in your shop, in your office well, does the finer work. It does light, well, this laser engraving, it's a different kind. It's burn. It's like okay. It's like taking a etching uh, it on some. Yeah, it's like it's like taking a, a a burner, like you have a little burner set when you're a kid, right? And doing it to a precision down to the you know five thousandths of an inch kind of. Okay. Thing. Cool. So you can do three 3D laser engraving with this, but it's not as fast. Uh, gotcha. And it doesn't, it, but it's extremely uh, detailed. Okay. But really, it's not worth the effort. The time is really spent better doing it. Gotcha. And it does a lot of, like I said, the fancy shape cutouts. Like, for instance, it allows me to do these kind of end caps instead of just a normal square or triangle. Okay. And when I, before I had the CNC, I would do this, but I would have to hand make the template and then have to have to what's called flush trim route around every single one of these it just took where now i can make these and i can make a you know a, a pocket for it to fit in there gotcha. you know i can do that and it'll the cnc will do it in a matter of three minutes this would take me two hours to set up all my jigs before so. okay all right so you so i'm trying to understand this whole process so you got so you got this thing together you've got all this detail knocked out all yeah. that three-dimensional detail see if i can get some of that here with the camera well that's just that's just grayscale it's not even three dimension that's what's cool okay so the cnc allows so that on the laser what i do is i go through and i make a bunch of different uh when you're on the computer the cool thing is you can take it and you can put a uh what do you call it a um essentially do a, a wash of black to white kind of thing right so you can okay. you can adjust the different grays within that in this, this cool the good thing about buying a nicer laser engraver like that epilogue is that 
it will adjust the laser power firing based on the level of grayness you have. So the deeper the gray, the more power up to 100% that it gives, right? So, so you've gone to the extremes of combining modern technology with good old fashioned woodworking. Good old fashioned woodworking, yep, it's just another tool. So, tool, so toolbox, right? So that's done to that point, and then what do we so do? Then, then you so, just so kind of knocking out little pieces like well, the fin. So, and so this, so then I take the, that board and I put in the laser. I do this, and then I take the fin, and I cut that other laser as well. So if you can see that burnt mark edge, I kind of like that edge mark there. Okay. That's all cut out on a piece of quarter inch cherry. Well, it's a little bit thicker. That's than pretty cool. Inch, it's a, it's like the, I love all the detail. Like, like if I was to do this. It'd probably look like a, just a block of wood, <laughs> but you've actually got, is that glued together or, or no, no, burned it? It burned, burned it. that edge. You then, like all your detail, every little piece of what you do, everything you look at, you just have all this little detail, man. I'm telling you, Scott, you should be selling this stuff for $20,000 a piece. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, I'm just, I'm amazed all the time oh, yeah, when I see the stuff some, that you somebody build. Somebody else sent me up about another one of those coin flag holders. Oh, flag did they? Holders, so. Cool. Nine ninety seven. There you go. Or Price negotiable. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you, you deserve it, Scott. You, uh, you come a long way. You've got, like you said, $120,000 of equipment in this shop. And you've got 16 years of experience doing it and a huge backlog of work and pictures and what do they call that a portfolio, a portfolio. Nice. Nice. <laughs> I like it. all right so yeah. that's pretty cool man I am excited you got so many things I wouldn't even know where to start I just want one of those saws when I built my chicken coop I had what do you call the saw, saw I use saw. a skill saw I just need that that's all I want right that's here. all I want they're all they're on sale right now Lowe's I just saw them for right. 549 are they so. I'm too cheap for that. <laughs> I'll just keep my skill saw that's breaking down. I'll put a little oil in it. These are great though. You know, you can buy. You don't have to buy these. You can go buy a Ryobi. I started off with a $110 Ryobi. It was just and it worked for many, many years. It was fine. Uh, it just, you know, as I could afford more, I got nicer tools. And it's interesting because all these big tools take up maybe when you talk about money, maybe sixty thousand dollars, sixty, seventy thousand. But then there's all the different things like clamps. You know, a clamp is. You know, clamp is uh, about thirty, thirty-five dollars per clamp. Holy! Cow. And you don't think about those things that just add up over time because it's not just the clamp; it's also the bar and the end caps. And, right. You know, and the clamps twenty bucks for one set of clamps. You, you know, definitely so. got it going on here, man. Well, I think that is a pretty cool wrap up to start nice. your woodworking wood shop. What do we What are we calling this? Just a tour, I just guess. A tour, yeah. Tour, a little tour of the shop, man. Anyway. I know some of you guys out there in plant land are into woodworking and know something about some of these tools and I thought you guys would get a kick out of this. I just am so impressed with what Scott does here. I wanted to show you all. I thought it'd be fun to open it up and he's starting his own YouTube channel because I've been pounding on him does, for a long time. Like about a hammer, it. baby. I, I know there's going to be a lot of people that want to see this stuff. So, if you guys are interested, you need to go subscribe to his channel. I have a link down below in the description and probably up in the corner here. You can go check out his channel. He's going to go along. I know he's going to because I keep telling him to and I'm going to make him do it. He's going to go one tool at a time as he's doing different projects and show you what he's doing. And he's going to make something happen here. And so you woodworkers are going to have fun watching him. Anyway, hope you guys like this one. If you did, hit the like button, subscribe if you want to follow along. Have a fantastic week! And I'll see you in the next video. Adios. Adios. <laughs> All right, so the big question is, which one of us is prettier? <laughs> Scott, you are one. I love no, this my, beard, buddy. I know, but your clean-shaven face and your no, it's chiseled just, jaw, your I, chiseled jaw. But I've got a neck beard. You don't. Yeah. You have a beautiful red That's Santa to cover Claus up beard. my extra necks. Yeah, and I am a little <laughs> taller. I think. Wait a second here. I have a short... Yeah, I guess, I don't know. All right. That works. I got a little beef on me. <laughs> if you like beefy, man. <laughs>